The Indian Paradise flycatcher has always been a flamboyant passerine to be photographed quite often throughout India, but hardly any behavioral video documentation is enlisted till date. In this video, I will be explaining you about the nesting behavior of this bird encompassing its parental behaviors. The present observation mainly deals with the nesting behavior, incubation activities, hatching and parental care and feeding. Indian Paradise flycatchers inhabit thick forests and well-wooded habitats from Central Asia to Southeastern China, Nepal, all over India and Sri Lanka to Myanmar. They are medium-sized passerine bird. Males have elongated central tail feathers and a black and rufous plumage in some populations, while others have white plumage. Females are short-tailed with rufous wings and a black head. Indian Paradise flycatcher exhibits sexual dimorphism. Breeding pairs are monogamous where both male and female take part in the process. But mainly females contribute towards nest building, incubation, brooding and feeding of the young. Nests provide a safe place for eggs and young birds to develop. Indian Paradise flycatcher breeding season lasts from May to July. In this observation, it started in May and ended by the end of June. The foraging attempts are largely made between clumps of shrubs, at a height of 1 to 2 meters. The cone-shaped nest is built with fine roots, fiber and small leaves, compacted with cobwebs. New nests were built in shady undisturbed sites, away from the road and takes between 6 to 12 days. The female flycatcher lay 3 to 4 eggs. The incubation period lasts 14 to 16 days. After eggs hatches, the frequent feeding process starts. The feeding part was mostly carried out by the female, with the intervention of the male occasionally. Female catches small winched insects such as flies, bugs, beetles, moths and butterflies during 12 to 16 days nestling period. While female focuses on incubating the eggs, males being highly territorial, do not tolerate intruders, they protect the nest by chasing out the possible threats. These chicks produce fecal sac which are disposable diapers for birds. The nestling spook just about every time they gulp down some food. These spook serves as a nutritional treat. Parents will eat the feces because the nestlings cannot completely digest the food that they eat. Chicks produce their poop in fecal sacs, encased in strong membranes that don't leak. The parents pick up the sacs in their beak and carry them away from the nest once the droppings start having more bacteria and also to avoid attention from predators. A case of interspecific feeding was expected with paradise flycatcher chicks fed by black naped monarch. As the chicks grow faster, the nest space becomes more congested. The powerful chick would either push the weaker one out or they try to fly off the nest with their newly fledged wings. The female continues feeding until the chick gets its full growth. In conclusion, nature has a powerful transformative power which is responsible for the functioning of life on earth. It is essential for mankind to flourish so it is our duty to conserve it for our future generations.